Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to determine whether an equation represents a circle or a point circle or has no graph. Okay, so may isa lang tayong formula dito guys. Yun ay yung ating d square over 4 plus e square over 4 minus f. Yun nga lang. Ang magiging batayan natin dito, if the if this formula gives you a uh, greater than 0, then the graph of the equation is a circle. Okay? Pagka greater than 0, dapat yun yung ating mga positive numbers. Okay? Next, if this formula is equal to 0, then the graph is a point circle. Pagka point circle naman, yun yung ating... Uh, so, Cartesian plane, ang makikita nyo doon is yung point lang. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na point circle. Then, ang last property natin is, if this formula gives you a less than zero, o yung mga negative numbers, then the equation has no graph. Okay? So, let's have example num number one. So, determine whether equation represents a circle, a point cir circle, or has no graph. Okay? So, using the formula d square over 4 plus e square over 4 minus f. So, bago natin magamit yung ating formula, kailangan ma-identify muna natin yung value ni d, e, and F natin. So, kung natatandaan nyo guys, yung ating uh, general form, which is x square plus y square plus dx plus ey plus f equal 0. Okay, so sa general form natin, yung d natin is yung merong x variable. Then, for e naman is yung merong y variable then yung constant siya yung ating f. Okay? So in our given since uh, wala ta wala yung ating x term, so it means na yung ating d is equivalent to 0. Okay? Then meron naman tayong y term which is 10y. So yun naman yung ating magiging e. Then, yung ating constant is nawawala rin or missing. So, it means na yung f natin is equivalent to 0. Okay? Then, substitute natin yung value ni d, e, and f dun sa ating formula. So, we have 0 square over 4 plus e which is 10 square over 4 minus f or minus 0 okay then solve natin yan guys so that is uh, 0 square so we have 0 then divided by 4 that is 0 plus 10 square we have 100 over 4 then minus 0 so, dito, yun, since 0 yan, makakancel na yung ating dalawang 0. So, 100 over 4, we have 25. Okay? So, since na yung binigay na value ng ating formula is 25, which means that's greater than 0. Okay? So, therefore, the graph of the equation is a circle. Yeah. Okay, so circle yung ating equation. Next, let's have example number 2. x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y plus 10 equals 0. So again, ang first step natin dito is we need to identify the value of d, e, and f. So in this formula, Ang coefficient ni x is negative 6. So, yun yung ating magiging d. Then, for y naman, we have positive 2. That is our e. 
Then, ang constant natin is 10. So, that will be our F. Okay? So, by applying the same formula, which is d square over 4. So, that is negative 6 square over 4 plus e square. So, ang in natin dito is 2 square over 4 minus f which is 10. So, pag kinumpute natin to guys, that is negative 6 square, that is 36. Then, 36 divided, divided by 4, we have 9. Plus, 2 square, we have 4, divided by 4, that is 1. Okay? Then, minus 10. So, simplify natin to. We have 9 plus 1, 10 minus 10, 0. So, since the formula give us 0, so therefore, the graph of this equation is a point circle. Okay? So, tandaan yan guys ha. Pagka ang binigay sa atin ng formula is 0, we have a point circle. Next, number 3. We have 4x square plus 4y square plus 16x minus 24y equals uh, plus 72 equals 0. So, as you notice, yung ating x and y, yung ating x square and y square is merong coefficient. So, ang una nyo munang gagawin bago tayo mag-identify ng d, e, and f is to divide all the terms by 4. Okay, so kailangan i-rewrite muna natin yung ating equation to general form. So makakancel ito. So we have x square plus y square. So this is 16 divided by 4, we have 4x. Negative 24 divided by 4, we have negative 6y. Then 72 divided by 4, that is 18 equals... 0. Okay? So, after natin ma-divide by 4 yung lahat ng terms, ma-identify na natin si D, E, and F. Okay? So, based na our general form, D is equal to 4, E is equal to negative 6, and F is equal to 18. Okay? So, pwede na nating magamit yung ating formula, which is d square over 4 plus e square over 4 minus f. So, substitute natin yung mga value ng df. So, d, we have 4 square over 4 plus e, which is negative 6 square over 4. Minus 18. Okay, so we have 4 squared, that is 16 over 4. Plus negative 6 squared, that is 36 over 4. Minus 18. So divide natin. So that is 16 divided by 4. We have 4 plus 36 divided by 4, that is 9. Minus 18. So, ang final answer natin, 4 plus 9, we have 13. Minus 18, we have negative 5. Okay, so since negative number yung ating uh, na compute, which is less than 0. Okay, kung less than tayo sa 0, then the equation has... No graph. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo, guys. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!